This organ is very special because it was the largest Wurlitzer organ ever imported to the United Kingdom from America and it had a long and glorious life here in London and uh, having been off the scene now for 10 years during its restoration and relocation into this wonderful building, uh, people have really been looking forward to hearing those great sounds again. Playing the organ is, uh, well, I suppose a bit like operating a very complicated piece of machinery because at a very basic level you've got to deal with all of the, the buttons and the levers and the keys and the pedals, of course, you have to play with your feet as well. So you can feel a little bit like an octopus trying to get the coordination right. But uh, it's a wonderful sense of um, being in charge of an instrument because you can control everything. It's not just a melody instrument, you play the harmony, you play the bass, you get to do the arranging, particularly on a, a theatre organ like this. The theatre organ was developed in order to accompany the silent pictures so its design, its voicing, the way the pipes were made to sound was much more orchestral so if you look around the stop rail you'll see lots of references to the orchestra, you'll see trumpet stops, clarinets, strings and uniquely uh, to the theatre organ you find percussion instruments as well so everything from tuned percussions like marimba, glockenspiel, xylophone, cathedral chimes right down to the drum kit, bass drum, snare drum, tambourines and castanets. <laughs> came from its original home which was the Trocadero Elephant and Castle uh, which was a very wide large cinema similar size to this but wider um, it was a unique sound it was broadcast quite a lot on by the BBC each of these rows of pipes or ranks as we call them um, are designed to emulate uh, instruments of an orchestra so this one I have close to me here is the what we call the brass saxophone so it emulates the saxophone uh, the one behind it is a, is a brass trumpet. It's been a unique experience because I've never heard the stereo effect of one of these instruments. They've always been in, uh, confined to one chamber or very closely uh, coupled chambers. So here, having the two chambers far apart and getting the lovely stereo effect, the sounds going backwards and forwards, uh, is, is the highlight. <laughs>